across Texas. The issue is. I'm Rudy Koski in Austin. I'm Stephen Dial in Dallas. I'm Greg Grugan in Houston, and this is Texas. The issue is. The issue is the Supreme Court showdown over Texas SB 4, the new state immigration law. And it's been described as extreme and unconstitutional by its critics. Supporters say it's necessary and it complements existing federal law. The Supreme Court this past Monday put enforcement of SB 4 on hold until Wednesday, March the 13th. It's coming up. Republican state lawmaker David Spiller, who carried the legislation through the Texas House, spoke to me about that countdown to this high stakes, high court showdown. If you think there's not an invasion going on, um, you're, you're not really dealing in reality. There is an invasion going on. It's massive. It's overwhelming. Are you saying that the law is about proper immigration processing and not deportation? Well, what it is, it, unlike what Arizona did, where it, show me your papers, you had to have papers, you have to show that, has nothing to do with that. Here, if an officer can prove um, beyond reasonable doubt or has uh, probable cause to believe that someone crossed, that they crossed illegally, uh, other than at a U.S. port of entry, that they, uh, uh, you know, they would have to be able to show where they crossed, when they crossed, how they crossed. They take that person to a magistrate. And the magistrate says, look, in lieu of further prosecution or detention, we will give you the option and, and send you to uh, to a port of entry. You would have to be, you would have to go back. You'd be ordered to return. That only happens if they agree to do that. If they don't agree, then they're, then they're prosecuted, they're jailed, uh, but they're provided every single right you and I would have as U.S. citizens under our legal process. What do you envision happening after they go to the bridge? Well, first of all, they would be identified and, and they'd be fingerprinted. We'd do uh, DNA if and when appropriate, all those type of things so that we know that we got the right people and we know what we have. And they would be physically ordered back. And uh, it's, let me say this, it'd be somewhat disingenuous of Mexico to say, well, we're not going to take them. Uh, you darn sure took them on the front end. When you prosecute, what's the prosecution based on? State trespass law? Yeah, it's, it's based on uh, the existing federal law, 8 U.S.C. 1225, for illegal entry. The, and that's why SB 4 is drafted specifically <clears throat> the same way that federal law. And that's the same federal law that's been on the book, when I say for decades, I'm talking about 70 years this law has been in effect. It seems that every immigration law that, uh, that comes up is challenged, and I claim that it opens the door to racial profiling. So SB4 does have language in there that addresses that, but how are those safeguards in your mind, not just paper tigers? Well, SB4 has absolutely nothing to do with race. It has to do, if you entered our country, entered our state illegal at, uh, at some place other than a port of entry, doesn't have anything to do with race. It has to do with, can the officer prove that that individual crossed, when they crossed, how they crossed, and can they prove that uh, uh, in a court of law. Someone in Dallas uh, going to a mall, a law enforcement officer, is not going to know, is not going to be able to prove that that any individual crossed, that they crossed here illegally. And again, there is it's a misdemeanor. So there are, there's a uh, two-year statute of limitation. So this idea that some have tried to say that we're just rounding people up right and left. Not true. You say that there's a two-year statute of limitations. How do you envision someone being caught um, a year and a half down the road and saying, aha, you crossed? How do you prove something like that? I don't think you do. I think that's part of it. I, I mean, I don't think law enforcement can prove that at all. And those uh, folks, I, I don't think those type of arrests are generally going to be made. What's your gut feeling on how this vote's going to come out on the Supreme Court? I think that the U.S. Supreme Court uh, will send this back down and say, y'all can have a trial on this, but we're not going to stop the, the, uh, the, uh, the temporary uh, implementation of SB4. And at the end of the day, uh, I believe it's going to be held completely constitutional because, as I said, it's not in conflict with the Arizona case. It's not uh, preempted by federal law. Uh, we will absolutely have the ability to uh, secure our borders. This case may hinge on a word that came to mind when I spoke to Representative Spiller, and that word is redirect. Stephen, what's your word for what you heard? I'm going to play it safe in this hyphenated hot button. 
Greg, take us to the break with a word for that interview. Rudy, my word is preemption. The Texas trio will be back to discuss this high stakes, high court battle.